Welcome to Night Prayer by Kingdom Come on Sunday the 24th of May. Jesus said, I will ask the Father and he will give you another counsellor to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people, and kindle in us the fire of your love. Come Holy Spirit, be with us as we pray, and leave us not as orphans. Come Holy Spirit, renew us in body, mind and spirit, and send us out to be your presence in your world. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people, and kindle in us the fire of your love.
18. Jesus said, Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled but all who humble themselves will be exalted. A reflection upon that passage. How do we present ourselves to God and to others? Our friends, our families, the stranger, the call centre operative. There are many versions of us, and yet how much do we know of ourselves truly? Even looking in the mirror, we do not see a true image of who we are, but something that is back to front, distorted. The Pharisee and the sinner have a distorted view of themselves too. Only God and see into the darkness of our souls. But within that darkness, God can see the shining diamond waiting for its vocation to be fulfilled. When all else is washed away, our sin, the things that bind, the graffiti on the heart, and our lack of self-reflection, what is left is the true image of God in which we were all made, the image that reflects God's true nature of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness and self-control. The Pharisee looked down upon the sinner and the sinner looked down upon himself but they both looked up to God in their prayers, misguided or not. As we present ourselves to God in our prayers today, let us approach with holy boldness, that yes, God can see into our deepest darkness, but God's love penetrates that darkness and sees our hearts as they long to be and God longs them to be. It's not only our hearts, but the hearts in those we will present ourselves to today, those expected and those unexpected. A song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your gracious Spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, 
the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. O merciful God, and full of grace, as we come into your presence, may we remove like outdoor clothes all pretense, all show, all arrogance. May our inner self be revealed, humble, honest, open, and longing to be changed by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We meet your word as a challenge to our self-identity. Come, Holy Spirit, thy kingdom come. We express our thanks for the confidence to stand in your presence. Come Holy Spirit, thy kingdom come. We offer our examined pasts to your loving gaze. Come, Holy Spirit, thy kingdom come. We bear before you those broken relationships, not open to healing. Come, Holy Spirit, thy kingdom come. We wait upon the work of your Spirit as we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, give everything the breath to praise you. Come Holy Spirit, Gift our praise with true wholeness. Come, Holy Spirit, gift us with stillness in the midst of our journey. Come, Holy Spirit, gift us with yourself. 